As it stands, Red Dead Online is kind of a cash sink. Yeah, you get money from pretty much doing, well, anything, but it can feel like an uphill battle if you really want to grab a new gun, or a fancy new pair of britches, or whatever cowboys like. At the moment, players are petitioning Rockstar to change the in-game economy to be less oppressive, but until these changes come, you know, if ever, then making money, like real money, is gonna remain a challenge for the erstwhile cowpokes populating Red Dead Online. But what if it doesn't have to be? I've read a ton of stuff online about how to make money in RDO, but I'm gonna tell you right now, most of that stuff is garbage. Oh, you get skins? And you can sell them? Uh, yeah, duh. In this video, I'm going to outline actual strategy for making money that's fairly fast, it's pretty easy, and it's completely safe. That's the big thing, is that you're safe. While you're doing this, you don't need to worry about being gunned down by other players with nothing better to do. So let me give you an overview before I get into the nitty gritty on how this thing works. First, you build a camp on the shore of Flat Iron Lake. You get a fishing rod and bait and fish for the steelhead trout. Steelhead trout when they're biting, tend to congregate in large schools and can be caught at a really fast pace, and they sell for $4 a piece. Get into a groove and you'll be able to make something like 160 to 210 bucks an hour, depending on how cooperative the fish can be. Now, this might not sound like a huge number, but if you play this game, then you know that the rewards for doing missions can be piddling at best of times. So, 200 bucks earned from the safety of your camp is pretty damn good. Let's talk requirements. You have to be rank 14 to be able to use a fishing rod, so that's the big stumbling block for this one. So, play through the available story missions, do whatever, but get to rank 14. Now let's talk camping. How the camp works in this game is bizarre and it's completely unexplained. Basically, when you choose to set up a camp in a certain region, it can appear at a few different spots in that region, depending on your avatar's location. So, uh, yeah. What? Basically, camp construction is supposed to be random. It just goes wherever there's an empty spot in a region, but you can manipulate the game in order to have it build your base in the exact spot you want it to be, which is on the beach of Flat Iron Lake. So let me walk you through this step by step, because this right here is the hardest part about this trick. First, if you got a camp set up in the Heartlands already, pack it up and move it to some other region. It's awkward, but you have to do this if you want to rebuild a camp in the Heartlands, which is exactly what we want to do. Next, go to this spot on the map, this exact location. Yeah, now stand on around this random ass rock. Then go into your menu and move the camp into the Heartlands. If you're in the right spot, then there it is. The camp will be built right on the shore of Flatiron Lake, perfect for a little non-stop fishing marathon. Make sure the white flag is activated in your base so you won't get shot at in the vicinity of your base, and you should be set. Now head back to your camp and be sure to buy some lures. You're going to need worms for this one, because trouts, that's what they bite. They bite worms. You can get a lake lure, but it's locked at rank 30 for the time being. If in the future they make it possible to unlock these with gold or whatever early, then get that, because worms really cut into your bottom line. Now with a rod in hand, and you can buy it from the catalog in your inventory, it'll just appear in your inventory after you buy it. You don't need to pick it up in a mailbox or anything. And lures. It's time to start fishing. The fish you're going to want to catch are steelhead trout. If you're not catching any, just switch servers by exiting the game and restarting, then wait for the fish in the air to respawn. If you haven't noticed or you're not aware, when you first go out onto the water, you won't see much fish action. You'll need to wait a few seconds, then you'll start to see a ton of little splashes in the water, which, you know, means a lot of fish. So if you're doing this and all you get are bluegill and pickerel, just reload. Trout are not uncommon or anything, it's just random if you'll get a school of little fish or a whole lot of trout. Uh, if you're able to catch one trout, then you should start seeing a lot more of them. And that's all there is to it. When it comes to fishing, you could be going after trout from anywhere on Flatiron Lake, you don't need to be doing it from this exact spot, but being able to do it while protected by your camp, with easy access to mail and a town close by to sell these fish to, makes this strategy a whole lot more efficient. There we go, that's my fishing trick for Red Dead Online. If you found this video helpful at all, 
Remember to like and subscribe, shoot me a comment, do whatever you want. We're not done with Red Dead Online yet, not by a long shot, so I'll see y'all later, and thanks for watching.